What's up, Technoba here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using a GWAP. GWAP is a WAP management plugin with password protected WAPs and more. It's super customizable. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the speaker tab, and search for GWAP. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. To start, let's check the list of commands we can use. Use slash warp help or slash gwarp help for more info. I'll start by setting a spawn warp. I'll use slash warp set spawn. If I run slash warp spawn, we'll be taken back to where it was set. We can use slash warp update to update the warp's position. Slash warp delete spawn removes the warp entirely. We can get the warp to say something in chat when we teleport to it by using slash warp welcome, warp name followed by some text. We can use slash warp list to show a list of warps on the server, and slash warp top to display the most used warps. And of course, as teleporting to our own warp doesn't count as a visitor, but using another account and warping to it, we can see that it increments the visitor counter. To check a list of warps for a certain player, we can use slash warp warps followed by a player's name. Running slash warp warps without a player's name after only shows you your warps. We can check who owns a particular warp by using slash warp owner warp name. Slash warp effect gives us a list of effects we can use when a player warps. We can add effects to a warp by using slash warp effect warp name effect name. Then teleporting to our warp it shows lots of green particles around us. The same is true with slash warp sound for a list of sound effects and slash warp sound warp name sound name to set a sound effect when someone teleports. Let's set up a new warp. I'll run slash warp set test. Then I'll set a password with slash warp password warp name password. So slash warp password test pass one two three. To remove the password, we can simply set the password to clear. When we try to teleport to it on an alt, it says it's password protected. To teleport to it, we need to enter the password. We have to use slash warp warp name password, so slash warp test pass 123. Then we can use slash warp lock warp name to toggle a lock on the warp. When enabled, no users except the owner can teleport to it, other than those with the lock ignore permission. On top of warps, we can use slash home or slash ghome for personal warps that only you can access. I'll create a home with slash home set home one. We can teleport to it with slash home home one. We can use slash home update or delete commands here as well. And slash home homes to get a list of all of your homes. If you teleport to a home, you can still use slash home back to teleport back to where you were before teleporting. Admins have access to slash agwarp commands. Slash agwarp help shows a list of admin commands. We can force another player to warp with slash agwarp warp player name warp name. We can delete, set a sound effect, visual effect, welcome message, lock and unlock as before, just we can target any warp instead of just the ones that we own. Running slash agwarp set warp name player name, we can set a warp and set another player as the owner. I'll run slash agwarp set vicky home vicky. Then running slash warp list, we see a list of homes and owners. I'll transfer the ownership of test from me to vicky by using slash agwarp set owner test vicky. Running list again, we see vicky is now the owner of it. Slash agwarp reset warp name resets the visit account for a particular warp. Slash agwarp password, warp name password, lets you force change the password on a warp. And we can remove it by simply setting the password to clear. Using slash agwarp count, warp name, we can toggle the visitor counter for a particular warp. Slash agwarp version tells us the plugin's version. Upon changing settings for the plugin, we can use slash gwarp reload to reload the plugin settings from the files. Locate the config in the plugin folder. There are three files and a folder. The lang folder has multiple language files inside of it. I have English selected in the config, so I can customize what the plugin says in chat by opening and editing the en underscore en .yml localization file. In the main folder, we have homes.data 
and WAP Start Data, which is just where locations and other GWAP settings are stored. The config.yml file contains all of the settings for the plugin. The lang option lets you set a language to tell the plugin which localization file to use. We have update options and we can customize WAP settings like Use Safe WAP, which will stop players teleporting if they've been damaged too recently. We can then change the minimum and maximum length for home and WAP names, as well as passwords. WAP effect options and WAP sound options lets us change how effects work if you set them up to work with a WAP, such as particle offset, amount and speed, as well as volume and pitch of a sound effect. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!